his horse. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what we have today, guys, is the Moros case. And in today's video, we have this X5 E70 with 3.0 SD engine producing 286 horsepower and a lot of torque, 580 Newton meters. It has a nice wheels with big, really big tires, and it looks astonishing. This is the key. Let's go and POV drive it, guys. Nice interior, leather, cappuccino leather. We're already inside in this comfortable big car. But let's not waste more time, guys, and drive it. Let's put on drive. And let's go! It's really good guys for such big car it has nervosity even on direct it has nervosity in the war rpm below 2000 so it pulls really like a train you see immediate reaction and very interesting when you release the gas pedal the car stops immediately yeah like you hit the like it's super connected to the engine that's the difference in the X series compared to the cars they just leave the car but here because the car is heavy maybe they made it like this to actually be connected to the engine like it's manual and directly stop you from the engine power not from the brake pedal hill control DTC trunk parktronic that are the keys here I like the shifter in this one much better than the old shifter it's really like a diamond you love to touch it 
comfortable, very much comfortable inside. Very much like of this exterior, the big side mirrors. It's, it's like you are going, you are going to do your makeup there. <laughs> Ford wheel with this M. When raining, a lot of traffic here. Very direct steering. I feel it until now. I feel it very direct. But it feels some kind loose. Hear that? My X5 has it too. With even big range of this free ride of the wheel. It may be because of the steering rack already have some free ride. Sport mode, manual modes on sport let's see how is it drivable in the city much more comfortable than the previous one actually reacts immediately the, the pedal BMW in the corners actually and you saw the rear end try and overtake me so so this is how actually an X drive simulates somehow the rear wheel drive the gearbox is much faster than the previous the gearbox is much faster than the previous ones in 272 horsepower of E60s and in X5s. The previous E53. It's a six speed automatic, but it's much faster. There is a flash tool for it too. You can make it even more aggressive and faster. It has a rain sensor here, and it's located here. It feels really nervous around 2000. It's like it's want to rip out the transmission and gives you this push in the back feeling. Even though it's 2.2 ton car, you still have this feeling that that this is I like. I like this. On sport, it has higher RPM on direct, just cruising. Rainy today, guys. Actually, it feels a little bit too nervous at uh, this RPM. The ride is stiff, it's not very comfortable like an S Class, but it's an SUV, sport SUV, as you know and it has to be stiff in order to be good in the corners too it's pretty direct except this little free ride which i think is because the car is old already and it's pretty normal for that age i very much like the bmw's two color dashboards black with this cappuccino Interior is very nice. Gearbox is a little bit harder than I expected to be. Not so gentle on D. We could 
be shifting third gear engaged it's really nervous around 2000 guys it feels much wider because of the nice engine having 518 newton meters of torque and when we're mapped can go to 700 750 newton meters and if you make it 400 horsepower it can go actually 800 newton meters where is the limit of the gearbox after that you destroy it pretty much fast so it's not advisable to to go above that number put six gear and Just be with the traffic. I'll show you kick down now. This is on menu. I'll put it on the red kick down. So that is how kick down looks like. Of course, as every not so new transmission, it has some delay. Let's see how it's on sport now. Much faster. But I still love the manual mode. It's more predictable, you know what you want to do and the car also know what you ask from her. And yeah, you feel like in a ordinary fast BMW but it's more comfortable because you're higher and and you're feeling really a high class car always put the pedestrians full throttle guys Pulls really, really full throttle. Even though if you are in manual mode, the cars do whatever it should. That means that if you don't change, it change for you. And you, after you flush it, you can remove that, and it would hit ref limiter. It will be flushed. That's good if you want to drift or to go off roading with a lot of power needed on a certain gear but otherwise it's okay like this it also downshifts for you if it found, finds out that your current gear is too high X5 previous one like mine how much fuel does it burn well in the city if you want to be optimistic you can rely on the guys telling you that it is 12 to 13 but it isn't in a city with a lot of jumps traffic jumps like this and if you want to feel the 4.5 k rpm often and the pull from this big diesel powered engine well 3 liter is pretty big except it is not so big except it got some B-turbo configuration like this one okay it's not B-turbo it's twin power turbo sorry guys and really pulls nice from RPM it's, it's not lazy at all it uses all its capability to start like a V8 even though it doesn't have a remap it's nice made BMW it's not so comfortable on the bumpy roads but that's the price to pay for a good performing car on the curvy roads
but I like the feel, the steering. It's direct, like it's direct in uh, five series. So sorry, guys, about the consumption. Uh, I told you, you wouldn't believe it's 12, 13. Even if you drive like a grandmother, I think it will be around 15. 14 to 15 and if you drive like a maniac <laughs> it will be really 17 18 and in my case for now it's 16 but that's average it's not mine only so it actually burns diesel but it's big car heavy so we cannot expect to be otherwise nice pool the seat is very comfortable really comfortable it's like it's designed for me wombo support side support of the back really comfortable being in that car much more comfortable than mine E53 <laughs> it's, it's changing so nervous <laughs> The good things about X-Drive here and the big car is that you can actually put all these power and newton meters directly to the ground and turn them into acceleration while in my E61 with the same engine but 272 horsepower it was actually always trying to, to kill me something with the rear end throwing and the open differential really sucked one tire fire you know but here no such thing you just push the pedal and woo really accelerates yeah I didn't believe it will be so noticeable but it's fast okay guys I hope you enjoyed that video you can watch our other driving videos and reviews of that car some highway driving of course Stay tuned for any other videos we post, so subscribe to our channel, click on the bell so that you receive all the awards. Whoa, this thing pulls really nice. And stay healthy guys, drive V8s, drive big cars, drive fast cars because we live only once guys, so we should live quality wife with the good things available thanks guys thanks for watching see you in the next video